Good morning, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us. After a very successful first day of the board summit, it is my pleasure to welcome you as we kick off day two. I must begin by thanking all the ministers, visionary leaders and board members who shared their insights and wisdom with us and all of you who actively participated. It was also my pleasure to be able to share with all of you a glimpse of the progress we have made to enhance the pathways to board level gender diversity. Some of the achievements I'm particularly proud of include Aurora 50's partnership with the UAE's financial services centers and exchanges and a wide ranging cooperation agreement with the Securities and Commodities Authority towards enhancing female representation at the board level. Today, you will hear from some more board members and business leaders, many of whom have gone through a similar journey to the one that you yourselves have embarked on. As each of you take on future board positions, I urge you to keep these learnings in mind and remember to make your voice heard at the decision-making process. U.S. Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg once said, women belong in all places where decisions are being made. It shouldn't be that women are the exception. Our aim through the 24-2020 initiative is to give you the practical training, mentorship, and networking opportunities to ensure that you are not the exception, but the rule. And on the topic of networking opportunities, it gives me great pleasure to announce the launch of Aurora 50's latest initiative. Manarat Women on Boards Network, the first formal network for women serving on boards of listed companies on the Abu Dhabi Securities Exchange and Dubai Financial Market. Manarat, which in Arabic stands for lighthouses, reflects the group's intent to act as guiding lights to competent women who are working towards building successful board careers. This network was created to further the gender balance agenda and in its first year will nurture and guide high potential female talent selected for Aurora 50's 20 for 2020 initiative and enable them for future board careers. What began as a conversation with a select group of female directors holding board seats on locally listed companies has materialized into a tangible reality that provides female board members the opportunity to support each other and empower other competent women who aspire for board careers. Many of these women only hold one board position. And so there is opportunity for boards to source and interview these women for possible board seats in the future. My hope is to see more women on listed boards. We need to catalyze transformative change at a systemic level, which will require significant effort from our financial ecosystem. Our efforts will only be globally acknowledged when we see an increase in female representation on our listed boards. With many of you joining for-profit boards later this year, I'm confident that this network will serve as an excellent source of support, advice, and inspiration as you venture forward. One day, I hope that you will join a future edition of the Board Summit to share your own stories 
of success and to empower the next generation of female board members. Thank you.